Okay, let's step through our A star algorithm. We're going to look through the calculated path, shortest path method here. Remember, we're working with two path or uh, lists of nodes, an explored list and a frontier list. So I'm just going to have a little sheet over here where we're going to keep track of what nodes are on the frontier list and the explored list as we go through this. Um, we start and we clear off the explored list and the frontier list, so they both start blank, and then we add the starting node to the frontier list. So if you remember on our map, our starting node is node 1, so I'm going to mark the frontier with green, and we're just going to put node 1 on our frontier list. Now we're going to start while the frontier list uh, is not zero and there's again one element in our frontier list then we're going to go through this um, grab the current node and so we'll also keep track of that so the current node is going to be the first node off of our frontier so we're going to grab the zeroth node from the frontier and make that the current so that was just one here so the current node is going to be one we're going to check if we're at our goal, and our goal is going to be node 11. We're not there yet. So we skip over this. So we're going to remove the current from the frontier list and add it to the explored list. So 1 is taken off of this list and added to the explored list. Now we're going to go through all the neighbors of 1. So we're going to go through our map and look at all the neighbors of 1. From 1 we only have one neighbor and that's 2. So that's a relatively short list here. So neighbor is current get neighbor and the only one we're going to get is 2. So neighbor is now 2. Uh, we're going to check if a neighbor is on the explored list. Is 2 on the explored list? Nope. Only 1 is on the explored list. And uh, check, make sure it's not the neighbor is not on the frontier list. It's not. There's nothing right now on the frontier list. So we're going to add the neighbor to the frontier list. So we're going to add two to the frontier list. And uh, set its previous node and set its do some distance calculations for that uh, two node. So let's just update our map. So we moved uh, one is now on the explored list. I'm going to use blue for the explored list. And 2 is now our frontier list. So we've got 2 on our frontier, 1 is on our explored, and we're going to start a loop over again. So we're going to go back up here. We're going to grab a node from the... I'm sorry, go up a little bit further. <laughs> we're going to uh, make current uh, a node on our frontier list while the frontier list is not zero. Frontier list not zero. It's so we're going to grab two and make that our current node. So now we're looking at node two. Uh, is it the goal? Nope, we're not. That's a node eleven. So we're fine there. Now we're going to remove it from the current list and add it to the explored list. So two comes off of here and gets added to the explored list. And then we go through all the neighbors of 2, and we'll set neighbor equal to each one. And each neighbor, we're going to add it to the frontier list. So its neighbors are 3, 6, and 4. So we'll add 3, 6, and 4 to the frontier list. So on frontier, we've got 3, we get 6, and we get 4. So that's our new frontier list, and here's our explored list. Okay, then we loop back up. Frontier list uh, is not zero, it's not empty yet, and we'll grab the next element on the frontier. So if we look at our code here, this is what we've seen so far. We're grabbing one from the frontier list, and we're checking neighbors, we're checking two, and we're adding it to the frontier list. We did that already. So now when we're grabbing node 2 and we're checking its neighbors, 
uh, and we're adding node 3, 4, and 6 to the neighbor list. Well, something I didn't point out, I just skipped, is that node 1 is also a neighbor of node 2, but uh, when we check that out, that neighbor is already on the explored list. So when we get down here, we check if it's on the explored list, it is, then we skip over it and we don't add it back to the frontier. Now we go on here. Uh, we've added 3, 4, and 6 to the frontier. We're going to grab node 3 from the frontier list. So 3, we're going to grab that and make that our current node. We're going to take it from the frontier list and add it to the explored list. And then we're going to look at its neighbors, 2, 7, 8, and 22. So the neighbors, so uh, again, we're, we're here. Oh, let's, we forgot to update our colors here. Last time we, um, put two on the explored list, and then we've put three, six, and four on the frontier. And now we are exploring three and adding its neighbors which are eight seven and twenty two and two is already on explored list so it won't get put on the frontier again so here we're checking two it's already on the explored list checking seven eight and twenty two and adding those all to the uh, frontier list so the frontier list now gets added seven eight and twenty two to it. Um, so this is our explored list is one, two, three, two, three, and our frontier list is uh, the remaining elements four, six, seven, eight, and twenty-two. And then we just keep going through this. Um, we're going to grab node four from the list and explore its neighbors. So four gets off this list. It gets added to the uh, explored list and becomes our current node. And we explore its neighbors where it fours down here. So we're going to mark it as explored. And we're going to add uh, two is already on the explored list. We don't have to add that neighbor in. Five we add to the frontier. And six is already on the frontier, so we don't have to add that in. So all we have to do is add five to the frontier list. And again, so two is already on the explored list, and it adds five and six. Uh, oh, and, is, and six is already on the frontier list, so it doesn't have to add that. So now we pop off six off of our list. We grab six off of our frontier and make it our explored list. Um, and then we're going to work with the neighbors of six. Two is already on the explored list. Four is already on the explored list. Uh, and seven is already on the explored list. So we're going to do make six a an ex explored node but all of its neighbors are already on one of the lists or the other so that now we're going to do seven take seven off of our list and do three six and eighteen uh, and we're going to add eighteen the other two are already on the explored list but eighteen is going to be added to our frontier so we're going to take seven off of our list uh, frontier and put it on our explored list and then uh, again, so we're going to add, we're going to add seven as an explored thing. Oops. And six R is already on the front, uh, explored three is, and then, but this neighbor up here, 18, we're going to add to our frontier list. So we just keep going through this uh, until we get to our final path. Uh, so we, we, we do 8 and then 22. So again, we'll explore node 8 uh, here. Uh, and we'll add its neighbors, which are uh, 9, 
and 3 and 5, some of them are already at, so we'll just add 9 to the list. Then we'll explore node 22, pop that one off the frontier, uh, and add those, its neighbors, uh, 19 and 23 to the list. We keep expanding these nodes, so we did 22. The next element on the list is 5 and then 18. So it will grab node 5 here uh, and put that, mark that as explored, and add its neighbors to the, to the frontier, which is 10. We'll do 18 uh, and explore that and add its neighbors, 17, 19 is already on the list, and 20. Um, so that's 18. Uh, we'll do 9, and then 19, and 23. So we keep exploring. we go 9, uh, and add its neighbors. So we're getting closer to our goal, which is uh, 11 here, um, but we're not there yet. So that was 9, uh, and then we'll do node 19. And so again, we keep exploring, and you can see we're not finding a very quick the path to the our final node very quickly, but we will eventually get there. Um, as we go this we've so we started here and we've explored out further and further and we're keep exploring uh kind of in a breath first approach we're not going in any particular direction we just keep exploring all these nodes as we go so uh you, you know now we're exploring 19 19 is not anywhere close to our goal 11 but again we're not taking any of that into account we're just exploring nodes uh, kind of a breath first approach and eventually we will explore and get over here because finally we get down here and we'll explore um, uh, we'll grow and explore uh, node 11 and grab that from our, our list and that'll be the end so we'll look at some ways of uh, changing this one thing I would like you to do next is to go in here and change uh, uncomment this out right now our frontier is not sorted in any order so we don't grab the shortest uh, node or anything first so what I'd like you to do is uncomment out this uh, collections dot sort of the frontier list uh, now every time we add an element to the frontier list we'll resort the frontier list and uh, see how it goes and then try to run your uh, program again and see what path is and we'll talk about that in the next video.